Good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. Today we're looking at 2 Timothy 2.15. It says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. And certainly this is a passage given to uh, by the Apostle Paul under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit to his protege, Timothy, and he's telling him his priority is to study the Word of God. To be able to, in order to be able to preach the Word of God, you must know the Word of God. And uh, Timothy, you need to spend some more time in God's Word so you can prepare the messages that God wants you to preach, so to speak. But I believe that passage also speaks to all believers because we, we're living in, a, in an era of, of woeful biblical ignorance. You know, there was a time when uh, the Word of God was a priority in believers' home. That, uh, that, that men and women would pick up their Bible and spend time with God each and every day. They would make church a priority in their day. Uh, families would gather around the radio and listen to the preacher on the radio. And, and it would be a, that idea of, of, of just accumulating the word, accumulating knowledge, accumulating um, how God wants us to live and conduct ourselves, and certainly it cultivated a re reverence for God. But today, because the Bible, the Bible is no longer a priority in our homes, and uh, certainly not a priority in the church anymore. The, the pastor seemingly does a um, goes out of his way not to uh, to include the the Bible in his messages or just take snippets of it so it can it can um, accommodate whatever uh, message he's trying to get across as some kind of feel good message um, some kind of values message or whatever else uh, we've we've forsaken because we've forsaken the Bible in our homes and we've forsaken the Bible in our churches you know what we've forsaken the Bible in our life and we are woefully biblically illiterate the Bible says we are to study to show ourselves approved under God. The idea that I love God so much that I'm going, I want to spend so much time with him. I want to know about him. You think about it when you were wooing your your wife or you were um, deciding if this gentleman was going to be uh, suitable for your uh, for, for marriage and in order to do that, you wanted to know more and more about them. You want to know about their background. You know about their education. You want to know about their work history. You want to know where they live. You want to know how they live, how they treated their parents, and all this other stuff. The more you understood about them, and certainly how they treated you, um, your desires for them became stronger and stronger. Is that right? And the same is true, even more so, when it comes to knowing about God. The more I spend with God. The more time I spend with God, the more I know about God, the more I fall in love with Him. And to, to neglect my time in the Bible is to neglect my time with God, the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, uh, Almighty God, is to now, now to begin to drift away from my love that I once, that was once zealous for Him. Paul told Timothy, to study to show yourself approved. I think God is telling us to study to show ourselves approved. If we don't know what the Word of God says, we are we are we are susceptible to the devices of the devil, the lies that are, are you know, being propagated everywhere, on on YouTube, on the television sets, on the radios, and books and. The, you know, all over the place, they're, I mean, we're just constantly being bombarded with people who say they know the Word of God, who are speaking for God, but the lies and the blasphemies and the damnable uh, teachings that are out there, I'm just amazed at the biblical ignorance of, of those who claim to be saved. The question is, are they really saved? Um. You, you and I need to guard our hearts. We need to guard our lives. We need to understand the Word of God. The Word of God is our priority. If you want to know God's will for your life, you need to spend more time in the Bible. If you want to know more about God, you need to 
spend more time in the Bible. That idea of I need to spend time in prayer, I need to spend time in church, I need to spend time um, uh, in, in God's Word each and every day. And the more I, I'm in the Word of God, the more the Word of God is in me, and the more I know about Almighty God. And um, let it not be said of you that you're biblically illiterate. We have more resources at our disposal today than ever in the history of Christendom, and yet we have the most biblically illiterate society uh, that our country has ever known. People who claim to be saved but act as if they're not saved. They're practical atheists. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. I'll talk to you soon.